What is this, Paul? Is this a jumble sale? Is that it? Is that your pile? How much do you think I got? Oh, my pile seems to be bigger than yours. Welcome to our New York haul. I didn't buy that much. Welcome to our New York haul. Look at all the stuff we got. Oh. <laughs> and it's been sitting all bagged up for weeks and I've been looking for some new items of clothes. Oh no. And I have been putting off doing this, but I need to basically see what I bought. And because, I think you do too. Because I think that we both forgot what we bought, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, but it's almost like sort of like un unwrapping <laughs> Christmas presents or something, isn't it? Yeah, you don't really know what it is. So, um, shall I start? Because I seem to have more than you here. Unless, of course, my things are thicker because they're, they're bigger. Bulky? <laughs> Bulkier. So we're going to start off with these rather fetching pink shorts. Where did you get those from? These came from Century 21. Ah. And that is the big department store that had closed after 9-11. No, the, during the pandemic. Oh, the pandemic, that's right, yeah. And um, it's reopened again, one store in uh, downtown, which is near the 9-11 memorial. Mm -hmm. It's at its original spot. That's why I was thinking of 9-11. So yeah, I got these these pink shorts. Oh, and they're waterproof, right? Oh, are they? Well, they're kind of like nylonish. So the original price was twenty four ninety nine. That's dollars, and there was sixty three percent off, which brought it down to sixteen seventy four. No, you you wouldn't find you wouldn't catch me dead wearing these outside because I don't wear shorts outside at all. But I will be wearing these around the house and maybe even for bed as well. Right, what have you got, Paul? Well, I also went to Century 21 and during that same visit, I got these pairs of um, Cole Han, which is the brand, Cole Han. These are ankle socks and they are $11.99 and the value price was $22. Oh, so that's quite a good bargain. So I do like my ankle socks because I like to wear them when I go jogging or when I go out, that's what I like to wear. So this is good for me. Did you need more? Cause you've got a lot of socks. Because the thing with socks is they do kind of wear out. So I do wear them every day even like at night time. We've got various odd pairs because maybe one sock sort of gets worn out uh, or a hole in it, but I don't want to throw the other one out. So we've got several pairs. Odds and ends. Odds and ends. So sometimes I do wear odd socks, but then I'm an odd person. Also Century 21, I think we did most of our shopping there. I got uh -huh. I got these and again, I wouldn't wear the these out. This? No, look, these are, these are jogging bottoms. <laughs> do you know what they kind of look like? What? They kind of look like um, like tiger print or something. Like I thought that this is like a tiger print for some reason. Oh, right. I thought they had a furry inside, but they don't actually. They, they just feel kind of cotton. Yeah, so I think these will be quite comfortable. And again, this is something that I would wear perhaps when I'm working from home. Yes, I'm not dressed up. I am wearing my casual, what is it called? What do they call it? Athleisure wear. <laughs> Oh, and we should talk about the price. And these are, the value price was $48. And it says our price was $19.99. It's a Spectre PCD jogger. And the brand is Ocean Current, designed in LA. We spent a lot of money there. Yeah, now we should talk about tax in oh. New York because you don't pay any tax on clothes as long as the value Under is... 110 or something? Uh, yeah, something like that, 110 or 109 dollars. And... But per the, item. Per it, item. Oh, is it per item? Per item. So even if you spent 200 dollars, but each item was under that amount... Yes. ...then you wouldn't pay any tax on it. So that that's good. So at least it means that the price that you see is the price that you pay. Isn't that right? So, yeah, so... 
normally for shopping in the US and New York, you do pay like the sales tax. I think it was like eight and a quarter or eight and something. So this was like back then because they did tack on this tax. Um, but, but then subsequent city governments brought in um, this tax ban to go up to the amount of like about hundred and ten dollars just like but there's said. a city tax and there's a state tax as well isn't there but on clothes there's no tax as long as it's below that level that we talked about what have you got next it's a so loaded knickers i got these pair of tommy hilfiger the comfort um these are boxer briefs and i like the elasticity of it the lady at century 21 wouldn't open the package she says if we open it, then you buy it. That's why it's so, got a hole in it. So it says, touch me. So it is, um, show, show the, the hole you see. So there's a hole that you could touch to touch the fabric. Touch me, too late, no, touche moi. See, I can speak French now. So this was 40 to 50. That is the suggested price and the, uh, price that I paid there was twenty one ninety nine. Oh, it says value was 45 Oh, I, I... I don't know what they mean by value. Is that how much... Maybe that's like a retail... I think like that that's how much something. you would get if you went outside of the store, like there. Um, yeah, like bought some places. Else. Yeah. Okay. Now, I think this was from Century 21 as well. Let's have a look at this. I don't have any more. Oh yeah, that. yeah. This is a Brooklyn, New York bag tea, baggy tea, I guess, because it's extra, extra baggy? large. Value thirty five dollars, and I paid nineteen ninety nine. And it's got. We need to hold it up. It's got Brooklyn on it. Look. Does it? Yeah. It says Brooklyn. Oh, I thought New York. All right. It says Brooklyn, New York, right? Not yes, bad. it's enormous. But then I am enormous. Um. So the thing is with t shirts for me. It's not so much the width, it's the length that I need. Yeah, and it's very difficult. It's not only with t-shirts, but with button-up shirts as well. So today, this button-up shirt just about fits, but that has always been a problem for me. Right, so what have you got next, I don't Paul? have anything else from Central oh, well, It doesn't matter, this is all from New York, so okay. continue. So, when we went to a few of the breweries, I did get some t-shirts because I think, you know what, this is kind of unique and no one from back home, meaning the UK, is going to have it. And I do like to look unique. So I do like buying t-shirts from, from breweries or t-shirts that have um, names of like the places that we visited. So one of the places we visited was Donovan's. Ah, Do you remember yes. that episode? That's not a brewery though, that's a pub, isn't so, it? Yeah. Idea. So An Irish this pub. is a t-shirt that says Donovan's and on the back it says Woodside, which is where Donovan's is located. In Queens. Yeah, so you may recall that we did go to Donovan's on one occasion and then we reminisced about our times before I moved over. Maybe you need to put a link to that episode on this one. Yeah, I There's think something that, for you to do. I think that we'll have like a link below. Now, would you like to, while well, you're on the subject of t-shirts and breweries and pubs and everything, show us the next one? Because it is from it's also a related. brewery that we visited in Queens, was it? This was in Long Island City. Yeah. So another brewery that we visited was this is RB, so this is the Rockaway Brewery. I remember them having this. So there were, I think maybe three different um, colors. There was this pink one, there was a purple one, and then there was a green one. But they only had this in my size, which is large, unfortunately. And this is the brewery that had the cat that walked this around the This is the, the one bar, that right? had the cat, and Ooh. this is the one that we set at the bar, and then I was taking lots of videos. Well, we have an episode showing you that as well, so look back for that. I don't know how many links, whatever you can put in. So these are the two t-shirts that I got 
with um, alcohol related or business related stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I've got a few t-shirts to show as well. So that's all my t-shirts done now. Now I've got two, I think they're exactly the same actually, from <laughs> Old Navy. I like these ones, this kind of material, it's breathable and it's good not only on a hot day because it lets your skin breathe but on a hot on a cold day i think it keeps you warm as well am i right yeah because this is kind of insulated yeah so it's old navy active and we got this at the outlet in Staten island that's right and the price was it well it says twenty dollars on it but i don't think it was because most we of the stuff like a discount yeah most of it is about half that or at least 40% off or 60% off. yeah so it was probably around $10 and, and sometimes if I see something that I really like and it really it fits well then I buy more than one so I got two of these yes I need to bring down those these things because I also got them too you've discovered something else do well you while we you do that, that why, do why don't you run off and we got that from Sid Oh, well, but, but there's more stuff. You see, I thought there wasn't enough. Why don't you run off and I will continue showing my stuff because I've got quite a lot here. You do. Off you go. I off you go. Me. What are you saying, dear? I know what you're saying. You're saying, why don't you subscribe to Paul and Marcus's show on YouTube? Please subscribe. And we're staying on the subject of t-shirts. And this one was from Old Navy as well. And this one says $16.99. And it's the same sort of breathable material, but it doesn't have that pattern on it. And it does say Old Navy Active on that as well. And yes, the size is indeed extra, extra large. Now I do like my buttoned up shirts and I got one of these. Again, this was from Old Navy and it said the price was $36.99 but I didn't pay that for it and it's an everyday shirt regular fit with built-in flex that's what I need and you can see oh what color is that what would you call that like maroon a uh, maroon yes this is kind of um kind of like in the purple family do you know something now that I have it out like this it's a bit wrinkly so it's, to wear it's it. well i need to iron it so it's going into the ironing pile what yeah so the ironing pile is over there i didn't show my old navy stuff oh right so oh, this okay, is good. all so we went to old navy and we went to hmm. the outlet because i remember us spending a lot of money there the previous time we went in 20 oh i went i went twice because i went on my own and spent you did nearly go on. 200 dollars or something by yourself by myself it was maybe it wasn't quite that but it was close okay so the first thing i want to show is this um plaid like shirt because there was something about it that i did like about it this lumberjack type of plaid is it long enough it is long enough okay. because I tried it on oh, okay. and no, there was like, I like the boxy pattern and I do like the material and it does feel rather warm. Mm. It's made of this um, thick cotton, I suppose. Yeah. So guess how much I paid? Uh, well, I what, was the, what was the, I would say the price was like 40 something with your 30 something well it says 39.99 but i don't See? think i mean, you wouldn't have paid that i don't think i paid that that's, i think that's i paid the value. Half that that's the value and what's this other one because oh this, this, this one this isn't a shirt really at all, no 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 it? that isn't a shirt let me fold this up i'm i'm not gonna be like you and just chuck it off oh but mine needed to be ironed that one doesn't mine mine kind of needs to be ironed oh, it? but i don't want to iron okay it. Okay, so this is a shacket. So this is like a shirt Excuse me. jacket. Oh, right. Because this is thicker than a shirt, but it's thinner than a jacket. Right, okay. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something you'd hear on one of those questions. This is, no, so this feels nice and it feels kind of thick. Would you like to try that one on? See, so that's kind of what I said to you that maybe I should have like taken this off. So look, so it is, thick enough for me 
to wear over my hoodie because normal mm. shirts wouldn't be this big. Is it still going to fit, my dear? Are you saying that I'm fat? <laughs> no, so I bought it with um extra um width. Yeah, so I got it because it's extra large, is it? Well, no, this is large. Oh right, and it kind of does fit. So, what sort of occasion would you you wouldn't? Would you I wear would, that on its own or with a t-shirt? I would kind of wear it with a t-shirt, like when mm. it's warmer outside. Right. Okay. And it's got some just regular shirt type pockets on it. Yeah, okay. there's no inner pocket, unfortunately. Mm. Okay. Oh, I thought I wore stuff, but it's, <laughs> it's it's because this is so thick. I'm going to try this one. What on. is that? This is a lovely jacket. Now, I buy Old Navy again, and I'm not sure the price is... Oh, the, yes, the price is on it. And it said sixty nine ninety nine, but I definitely didn't pay that for it. I paid uh, probably around thirty thirty five. Now, when it comes to jackets, I'm very mm. very picky. You don't like hats. I don't. Well, I don't like, you don't like the hood. I don't like the hood. Um, and it has to be obviously something that that fits, uh, that that zips up. And I like to have a pocket inside. So there is a pocket inside, so I can put my phone in there. There isn't one at that side. And let's zip it up and see. Oh dear, is the zip okay? I need to sort of find the bit there. Oh yeah, that's fine. And the, as long as I can just go like this, you see, I might just keep this on because it's rather chilly while it we're filming. It is rather chilly. Yeah. And I think Ooh. I will keep this on too. So this price was forty four ninety nine. Now, if you are chilly, then we've got the solution for you because at Old Navy they had an offer on at the time. We had to spend over $75 each. And they gave you a fleece for free and the fleece was worth $12. So what we did, we split our shopping mm. and... Uh, because Marcus spent more obviously. Uh, well, yeah. We, we, <laughs> so, we, so we split the cost and then we got two fleeces. So I like I them this... Um, this tartan pattern mm. which is green blue and bits of red and i did like this design yeah and and this is a tartan as well but it's it's more of red. Purely... look it actually it matches yeah your so shirt, it matches my shirt now you also wanted to show something else didn't you paul so to finish off with because we did so much shopping we needed an extra suitcase so we bought one <laughs> so we went to century 21 and Marcus was like looking oh, at still even got some you of were looking at like a suitcase half the size yeah. and then I thought okay how much is that gonna be so the wow. small one was like what about 79 uh, but then I think this one was like about a hundred yeah I think there's some stuff in here as well isn't there is there food in here we there's bought a bag. stuff there's, yeah. a, there's a bag of stuff we bought stuff do you remember yeah Oh, oh wow, look at this! Gosh, I just forgot that we had some of this stuff. I thought it was only going to be oh clothes that we're God. doing today. Oh wow, look! Original Skittles gummies. This must have been you. In grape, lemon, green apple, orange and strawberry. You're not opening it because you're going to eat all of it. <laughs> ah. And, oh, look at this. I actually got two of these, and I gave one of these to a very good friend at work. And, uh, yeah, so I think we'll just have to keep this out now. It's a lovely little bag of chocolates, and it comes from... Bloomies. Oh, I was going to say Macy's. Woo! Bloomies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Bloomies. It is Bloomies, isn't it? The little, Girl. The little brown yeah. bag. Yeah. Look, see. Oh, my God. Yeah. Else for God. Yeah. And also, oh, there's more stuff in here. Dove Silky Smooth Promises. You don't really get Dove in the UK. Milk chocolate. Look at that. So that would be a nice fitting touch. And there is something else in here as well. Mm. Nutella biscuits. Oh. oh when this did is, you get that? I didn't. You must have got it. No, I didn't. Did I get this? No. <laughs> Someone got it. It's here. Are you yeah. sure we got it there? Oh, did well. Might be oh. New Zealand. Oh, is this from New Zealand? Yeah, we could. Well, I don't even remember getting it there either. Do we not? 
Does it really matter? Because no, it doesn't. We are well, going underneath it. It kind of says Greenford, so I don't know. What? <laughs> well, what's it doing in our whole bag? And we do have... Oh, actually, before you bring that stuff out... This, oh, this. This one's been opened already. We've got coffee. Now, when we go away, we like to get coffee, coffee tea, and soap. Those are the main and things. And biscuits and mm. crisps. Yeah. And, oh, the smell of this is lovely. This is Dunkin' Donuts. Look. Open it Dunkin'. up and smell it. No, I can smell it from here. Can you? Yeah. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, wow. Mmm, it's lovely. And we've got more coffees in here. Some of these might be from New Zealand. It doesn't yeah, these fit. are from New but Zealand. I don't think we've shown you these. So no. We'll, we'll show you anyway. This one is a Robert Harris. That is definitely New Zealand. And it's an Italian roast. And this is Pete's Coffee. That's from New York. No. Isn't it? Is it? Yeah, we got this. Yeah, Pete's Coffee. Did we get that? Like a, um, that, that was from Whole Foods. Was that Whole we Foods? That. We bought that. Did we get that from Target? I think it was Whole Foods. Jed's is New Zealand because it says New Zealand on it. Okay. And I think there's one packet of biscuits that I have in here too from New Zealand. Chit chat. Yeah, so that's that's the last of our ch or of our chalky biscuits. Did it go off already? Uh, <laughs> well, we better eat it quickly. No, it, it didn't. Uh, it says the 7th of May, um, 2024. Which, while we're filming that, we've still got enough time. Yeah, so that's that's quite a haul. Most of it from New York and a couple of bits left over from New Zealand as well. So how would you rate what we got? Do you think mm. that it's better quality over there? Oh, well, you see, the thing is, when it comes to clothes, I can only go to certain places. And Old Navy, Century 21 now, those are the two my two go-to places for clothes when I'm in the U.S., CNA when I'm in Europe and Dunn Stores when I'm in Ireland and the thing is there's not really anywhere in the UK that sells clothes that suits mm. me or fits me no there isn't that's why I can't buy clothes here that's why every time I go somewhere that's you know you I've don't got go to Primark then <laughs> I don't like, really like Primark uh, stuff no. or or is it Primark well some well I call it Pri some mark wait, wait a minute what do I call it Primark did I say? Oh yes, I do call it Primark. No, I, it's actually pronou in Ireland. It's pronounced pennies. I've done that one before. That's not a joke. That is true because it is actually pennies. Is the original Ireland version of of well, that's that's where it started. The and, origin. Yeah, and then in Northern Ireland we had Primark, and it was it wasn't called pennies there, and then it's expanded and it's it's all over the place now. But yeah, so that is our haul. And very soon you will also see more fashion because keep um, tuned in for Paul's fashion episodes, which come up periodically. Thank so, you very much yes. for watching this fashion haul today. If you like anything that you've seen and you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And we do also enjoy your likes and comments. So give us some suggestions on things that you want to see. And we will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye bye. Bye. Mmm. Now, where's that coffee? I want to smell it again. Oh. Yeah, open the bag. I don't even have to. It's open already. It's been opened. Mmm. This wasn't that expensive either. No. Whole coffee bean. Original blend, medium roast. I think mm. we should have some now. <laughs> no, thanks. Where should we put the coffee? Should we just leave the coffees out? <laughs>